guys, it's Alex Torelli, and welcome to Ask Alec, where I take your questions on anything poker related and answer them here for you in short, quick videos on my YouTube. So today's question comes from Michael from Australia, who asks about HUDs while playing online poker. And I get a lot of questions about this, so I thought I'd address it here. He says, I have a question regarding HUDs. I'm firstly wondering if you use them. And he says, I have never tried using one because I worry that I will become too reliant on the information and also because I don't know if it would really be as useful as people say it would. Um, he, said, he postulates, perhaps HUDs are more suitable for certain formats of poker, like Heads Up Cash, where there really isn't any other information to consider in the decision making, and blinds and stack sizes stay relatively consistent. That's a good observation. But there is still no guarantee that they or I will be playing the same style as we have historically. For these reasons, I've decided to just play each table and session as they come, and making adjustments as required. But at the same time, I can't help but wonder if I'm missing value by not using a HUD, and I would like your thoughts. So Michael, I'm glad you came to me with this. I think this is a really good question. And I will give you some ideas for how you can perhaps slowly implement using a HUD into your game to get the most benefit. So I think that using HUDs are valuable. I think that you're going simply in a game of incomplete information like poker, and especially online poker, where you lack the benefit of seeing your opponent and gathering tons of information about them as a person, what makes them tick, and ultimately the types of decisions they're gonna make by the fact that you can physically see them or see how they react to certain situations, you are even cutting yourself thin by having even less information. And so a HUD gives you gives you that. It gives you a leg up on the field. It gives you more information than you would otherwise have without using one. And in a format of poker like online, where it's much more mathematical based, live is much more psychologically based, it really helps to have a lot of those extra numbers because that's the way that the game is played today. That's not to say you can't win without a HUD. I know some of the best players in the world have never used HUDs and don't use them online. Phil Ivey is one of them. Uh, Michael Turitz is another one. They just simply don't ever use HUDs and they're some of the most winning players in the world. However, today in today's game and today's market of online poker, I think they are the exception, not the rule. So I think there are certain ways that you could use HUDs, especially in the beginning, that are gonna help you implement them into your game without sort of stressing about the number, the, all the numbers and all the, the different situations and becoming too reliant on the information. So I think that starting with the big picture is a good way to work backwards to understand when the best time is to use a HUD and what situations are gonna help you with the most. So it's kind of like my 80-20 approach where I think most of the benefit comes from a minimal amount of sources of the HUD in the beginning. So I think that the best times to use them are when you are multi-tabling, playing a ton of different tables, and you can't really keep up with the basic information about your opponents. You don't really have time to gather who's playing really aggressively, who's a fish, who's too loose, who's too tight, who never really three bets, who three bets too often. And those are sort of the basic things that give you a understanding of the type of opponent you're playing against. So a great time to use a HUD would be in a multi-table tournament where you never play with the same players often. It's not like you're playing a 2-4 no limit cash game where the player pool is people that are regulars and you sort of have reads on them or you might have notes on them from previous records or you're playing heads up where you know the person and how they play. You really know nothing about the data of any of your opponents. So having a HUD over a hundred hand sample size will give you some information about them. Now this is most important if you're playing a lot of tables. A lot of people grind Sunday tournaments, they play 10 tables at a time. It's really hard to gather a lot of data about your opponents and how they're playing because you have 90 different opponents or hundred different opponents and you can't really measure all that. So I think having a HUD in that situation is useful, but I don't want to overwhelm you with numbers. So I would say that the most important things in the HUD are how often they raise pre-flop, how often they re-raise, how often they call raises, and how often they bet the flop. Those are like the basic things that you want to understand about how someone plays so that you can make the most common decision, your basic decisions, which is raising pre-flop, re-raising, calling, or betting the flop, um, in a way that is in congruence with the way that your opponents are playing. So if you had to pick four statistics, I would use those ones. And I would use it in a situation where you're playing multiple tables, whether it's a ton of cash games or a ton of tournaments. Now, I wouldn't start there because it's, of course, going to overwhelm you, whelm you seeing all these numbers on a screen. Start using the HUD playing one table and see how it goes. Just use three or four basic features. Get comfortable with just measuring those features and looking at them when you make a decision 
with your opponent. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use that information just because it's there in front of you. So there's a fine line between getting overwhelmed and dependent on the information or using it when you don't have another reason to make a decision. For example, if you have a read in a certain hand that you're playing that your opponent is likely to bluff raise you in a certain spot because of this, this, and this, that might not be a spot where you need to use the HUD and try and extrapolate the percentage of the time they're making that play because you have a read that in this one situation they're setting you up for that play or that's what they're gonna do. So that would be a time I wouldn't use the HUD. However, if you just sat down at the table or you've been playing at the table a little while and you haven't been paying attention because you're playing on too many tables, you wanna know how often the button three bets you and he just three bet you now and you don't know what to do, you can click on the HUD, look at the time. If you see he three bets 30%, maybe he's bluffing. If you see that he three bets 7%, he probably has a strong hand. That's a time where a HUD really, really helps you just to give you information and insight into your opponent. One key thing to remember when using a HUD is make sure that you have a big enough sample size that the data you're getting is statistically significant. If you've played 17 hands and it says that your opponent's raise percentage is 30, well that doesn't really give you too much information because you haven't played enough hands to really have that data mean anything. So you need to play a couple hundred hands at least, uh, at least a hundred to really have anything that you could tangibly use about your opponent's situation. So that's my advice for you for using a HUD. As far as which ones to use, I mean, that's something that you have to really try with personal preference. And like using a HUD in general to know whether it's right for you, it's something you have to actually test out. I know that popular ones are Hold'em Manager and Poker Tracker. There's also a new HUD that came out, which is meant to be for people that don't use HUDs often and want a simplistic version. It's also really cheap, it's called Javaro. So that might be something that you would try out in the beginning as a stepping stone to get you towards a more advanced HUD. So check those out and let me know how they work for you. I'd like to hear your feedback on this as well so I could recommend this to more of my readers and clients as well in the future. That's my A to your Q. If you guys have questions you would like answered here on my YouTube channel, head over to my blog, alectorelli.com and shoot me a question. I will pick the best ones, select them for this channel, and I will put them here in little short videos for you guys. Until then, stay subscribed to my YouTube. I'll be putting out new videos soon, and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.